Gmail, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And you can see which channels are performing the best, um, again, to tailor your campaign um, to achieve optimal results. So these are just some of the uh, reporting things that you can do um, on campaigns. In addition, um, there's more reporting within Java Source where you can look at the um, team summary report that shows you the total number of employees um, that you have within the system. How many of them have actually logged in um, to look at job ice and send job ice? And then you can also look at how many how many of the employees have um, installed the Facebook application, how many have updated their Facebook status, um, and done various activities in the sourcing. Again, one of job ice core <laughs> fundamental beliefs is that everybody should be involved within the hiring process. In addition, you can look at a job I report by employee and see what their activities have been. And for certain positions and certain people, you can see who's been very active and has robust networks and tell your recruiting and job hiding to those people within the organization. And lastly, you can also look at a report by job. And here's where um, you can see for each job position, how many job eyes have been sent how many of them do you afford, uh, and various activities across the different networks. So that's um, a brief overview of recruiting on the social web and a demonstration of job ID source. And then I will answer a few of the questions that people have submitted. So one question is how does the matching work um, for employees and their social networks? The basic matching works by looking at elements within both the job description and understanding what those elements are, as well as looking at the profiles of people within the social networks. The algorithm optimizes for professional bio and profile information, um, as well as, as I mentioned before, looking at various things such as what level is the position, understanding that a uh, director level in a small, in a small company um, means a different type of level in a larger company. For example, it might be more of a, a marketing manager type position in a company of 5,000 people versus a director in a company of 50 people. So the managing algorithm takes all of that into account to present you with relevant results. Another question, if someone receives a job in LinkedIn, can they forward it to a contact in another social network? That is correct. Um, you can um, receive a job by via any means, click to learn more about that position, and then forward that job by on um, via any of the other channels available to you, whether that's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, email, or one of your other address books. It's very easy to do that. Another question, is job by available only in the U.S.? Um, currently, we actually have clients worldwide that are using Dropbite. Um, the current version of Dropbite is English only, um, but we do have clients using Dropbite um, throughout the world. Another question, do all employees get to use the Facebook application? How do they get it? Uh, that's a great question. The Facebook application is set up when you initially set up Dropbite source. An email is sent out to all employees with the link on it that they can easily, within a few clicks, install the Facebook application on their profile page. So yes, all employees can get it um, and easily install it within a few clicks, um, making it 